I wanted to show a range test uh, here and run a 9 dB patch antennas linear polarized vertical running vertical linear polarized 5.8 gigahertz this is 25 milliwatts on the downlink and running 100 milliwatts this radio has been converted it doesn't use MIMO anymore it's single output 100 milliwatts I'm going to be bumping that up in power so my limit right now on my system is my transmit because I end up going into fail safe that's going to be bumping up to one watt in the radio and then three watts actually five watt eventually I'll have a video on that We've got a high-end amplifier here which is five watts these are like 1200 bucks got one surplus that I'll use so but the purpose of this video I just want to show range with stock power and this is clear view I have another video on it and this is the clear view with two patch antennas it's not a diversity but it's a signal cleanup and you'll see on the video the video is awesome on that so I wanted to see the difference of putting the antenna high so I'm actually in the attic of my house and Let's go through the video here and I'll show you. So my house is about 25 feet up. I'm in the attic. I can't tell what the attenuation is in the wood. Um, I'm going to be eventually putting antennas on top of my house. And because uh, I have an 18 gram tiny whoop, which is really fun to fly, but I want to. I want to see if I can get the range out to this thing about a mile and uh, we'll see. So anyway, I'm flying out of my house uh, right now. Notice the signal was kind of poor. Now I'm facing, my townhouse is right here and I'm looking forward in this direction. And typically I can only fly to about that mailbox when I'm sitting in my living room, but I'm going through a tree, also through the walls of my townhouse. And now I'm getting quite a bit further range. Notice how the clear view keeps the video crystal clear because of the digital uh, enhancement. So, I'm flying away from my townhouse. We'll turn around, I'll show you where it is. I'm not getting any signal degradation. Okay, I'm way back there. And the signal is still pretty clear. Get a little bit patchy. I don't want to test any further because I don't want to have to go find this, the tiny whoop. It can be a pain in the butt to find unless you have a range finder. So I'm very impressed with the video being located in the attic. Because you can see that tree there. Now normally I'd be really sketchy right here. And I still got really good signal. I'm actually looking at some 16 dB Omni directional antennas. I'll show more videos on that. Now I know I can't fly behind that other building because I'll fail safe. And I have to stay line of sight from my townhouse. When I up the power, I'll, I will be able to penetrate through other buildings, but I doubt I'll be able to receive. So there's, again, that's where my antenna is. Clear view, you can't beat the video. It's almost like digital. It's an awesome way to fly. And their racing receiver is the same as their Pro. You just get a little bit less menu features, but you get the same signal. So you can do $400 rather than $600. So again, that's where I'm right now up in the attic. Now I'm just gonna fly back to where I am. Now I normally fly from the living room sitting right there 
which I have to go through those walls and through that tree and that really cuts my range. But when I'm up in the attic, I definitely get a much better range. So I might be doing some pop-up antennas. Depends if I can get some measurements on how much that roof attenuates signal because I'm kind of limited to my 25 milliwatts. I mean, if I could go 200 milliwatts, I could get some much nicer signal. But, you know, it is what it is, and I love the tiny whoop. And, uh, oh, and by the way, I don't notice any difference going with circular except the penalty of a couple grams on weight. Circular versus uh, just a coax, which is soldered. So, anyway, this is just kind of showing range for a tiny whoop type setup. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.